when I was working uh, on my master's in social work is when I also started felting. And uh, when I started, I started to teach it to some of my people in my cohort, um, just for our own anxiety and our own stress. And I watched people's shoulders start up here and within 10 minutes of felting, their shoulders would be down, their breathing would be different. The furrow in their brow would have released a bit. It was visible. Sometimes the act of actually pulling it up will allow you to place it back down and make it firmer and more. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when we take things apart, it gives us the opportunity to rebuild them. Lots of neat metaphors in needle felting. I'm asking people to tell their story. They don't have to use words if they don't want to. They can use needle and felt, right? And tell their story and then actually have an interaction with that story. This one woman felt it a cancer cell and then ripped it off and then felted something else on top of it. As if to say, this was here. It's not here anymore. The scars are still here, but I have a life on top of it. This is a way of telling the story and interacting with it in a really tactile, tangible way. And then being able to let that be without having to say, well, this is why I did this, or this is what this means behind it.